Hey guys, Sam here, and today we're going to be looking at the 2021 Ordinary Level Question 1. So we've been told that this question will take around 5 minutes, however, in my opinion, looking at the suggested maximum time isn't that relevant at all, because I think you should just try to do the questions as quick as possible, and if you get stuck on one, move on and come back to it at the end. So looking at part A, part 1, we have a bit of calculator work here. So we're being asked to figure out what 372 plus 119 is. So getting up our calculator here, all we have to do to solve this question is first we put in 372 like that, and then we're going to be plusing 119, and then pressing equals, we'll get our final answer of 491. Moving on to part two, we have 3.4 multiplied by seven. So first of all, we're going to have three and then at that point, we just have to press this full stop button at the bottom of your calculator, and then 4, and then multiply by 7, and then pressing equals. We're going to get this 119 over 5 on most calculators you're going to be working with. However, we don't want our answer like that. We actually want our answer in decimal form. So in other words, we want something point something. So we're going to press this S and then the arrow to the D button, or in other words, just the SD button, and pressing that will give you your answer in decimal form, which is 23.8. And finally, looking at our last part, part three, we have three multiplied by seven minus five. And so since we have seven minus five in brackets, we have to do that first. So we know that seven minus five is gonna be equal to two. So it's gonna be three multiplied by two, which will give us our answer of six. However, if on the day you have a total blank and forget what seven minus five in, or we have something trickier inside those brackets. So we'll have the three multiplied by opening bracket, seven minus five, closing bracket, pressing equals, we'll get the same answer of six. Moving on to part B, we're being asked to shade in three quarters of the area of each shape below. So in my opinion, when doing any question which involves shading a fraction of some region, what I do is I always look at this bottom number of our fraction. And what I do, since our bottom number here is four, I'm going to split up each shape into four different segments. So with our first shape, we can just make four different segments by making two lines like this. And as you can see, we have four segments. And now I want to shade in three quarters of the shape. So I have to shade in three of these segments. So I can simply do that by shading in this first segment, shading in this second segment, and finally shading in this third segment. So I'd recommend on your actual exam day, do it a tiny bit neater, but as long as it's pretty obvious what you're shading in, you'll get the full marks. And now looking at our second shape, shape B, again, we want to split into four. But if you look at the shape here, that's kind of already been done for us. Because if you can see, we have one triangle, two triangle, three triangle, four triangle. So since we already have four segments split up, we simply have to shade in three of them. So I'm just going to shade in these bottom three triangles. And whenever you have triangles or shapes set up like that, just have a quick look and make sure they're all the same size so you are able to do this method. Of course, here, the four triangles are all the same size, so there's no problem with just shading in three of them. And moving on to our final part, part C, we're told to write the numbers three, nine, and 25 into the three empty boxes below to make our mathematical statement true. So, we have some fraction here plus another fraction here, which is going to be equal to our fraction 24 divided by 25. So with this question, it's a bit tricky because there's no real starting point. There's no obvious place to start with this question. But I think the best way of doing this is looking at the right hand side and seeing that we have 24 over 25. And so this bottom number here is 25. And we actually have 25 as one of our numbers we have to fill in. So since 25 is on the bottom on the right hand side, I definitely want 25 on the bottom of one of our fractions on the left hand side. And since the left hand fraction is filled in for us, we're going to put 25 into this bottom right box here. Next, we have 3 and 9 left to fill in. So what you could do is just fill 3 and 9 in into each of them and use guesswork to try and figure out which one's correct. However, doing it a bit more analytically, we can see on this right-hand side, we have 24 divided by 25. And since 24 is smaller than 25, we know that that's going to be less than 1. So that means everything on the left-hand side must be less than 1. 
So if we filled 9 into this first box, so we had 9 over 5, 9 is bigger than 5, and so that will be greater than 1, and obviously we cannot have that. So by default, we have to have 3 in this first box here. And then of course, our last number left is 9, so we'll have 9 in this box here. And this will give you the correct answer. And if you want to verify it, you can just put the fractions into your calculator, and indeed, it will equal 24 over 25. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to check out our other videos if you're stuck in any more questions. And I hope you're all having a nice day.